GPU or TPU. You hear these terms constantly in AI. One is the versatile king. The other is Google's specialized weapon. What's the real difference? And why is there rivalry? A multi-billion dollar war shaping our future. Let's check out the technology and the strategy. Welcome. Today we're looking into GPUs and TPUs, the engines powering AI. We'll cover their core technical differences, why it matters for AI performance and efficiency, and the strategic chip war involving NVIDIA's dominance, Google's approach, and the crucial role of software. Quick context, CPUs handle tasks one by one. AI needs parallel power, doing many things at once. GPUs, made for graphics, excelled at this. But Google, needing extreme efficiency for its massive AI, built the specialized TPU. The key question, does GPU flexibility beat TPU specialization for AI? And how does this tech battle impact the market? First, the GPU, graphics processing unit. Started by making games look real, rendering millions of pixels simultaneously. This required massive parallel processing. GPUs have thousands of flexible cores, like many workers tackling parts of a big job at once. Researchers revealed this parallel power was perfect for AI's math. They handle various calculations well and are widely available everywhere. Laptops, cloud servers, you name it. GPUs are flexible, widely accessible parallel processors, adapted brilliantly for diverse AI tasks. Their strength is versatility. So if GPUs work well, why did Google build something else? The TPU. Google needed maximum AI efficiency at scale, so they built the TPU, Tensor Processing Unit, and ASIC, a chip designed only for AI's core math, especially massive matrix multiplications, often referred to as tensor operations. Think of tensors simply as the multi-dimensional data arrays AI models crunch through. Think of the GPU like a complex Swiss army knife, packed with different tools, highly versatile. The TPU, on the other hand, is like a powerful, specialized wrench designed only for one specific type of bolt, but does it incredibly fast and efficiently. TPUs use optimized internal hardware like matrix multiply units to perform AI calculations incredibly fast. They often use lower numerical precision like BFLOAT16 or INT8, boosting speed with minimal impact on AI results because deep learning models are often surprisingly resilient to these slight variations in numerical precision. Google keeps developing these chips like the Trillium TPU, showing their commitment to this specialized approach for their own massive needs. TPUs are purpose-built AI accelerators optimized for speed and power efficiency on specific tensor math, primarily within Google's ecosystem. Their strength is specialization. So how do these approaches stack up directly when it comes to the key trade-offs? GPU versus TPU, the quick rundown. Number one, flexibility. GPUs win easily. They handle AI, graphics, science. TPUs focus narrowly on AI and machine learning. Number two, performance. It depends. GPUs are broadly fast. TPUs can be much faster for their specific optimized AI math especially at scale. Outside that niche, GPUs may lead. Number three, power efficiency. For those specific AI jobs, TPUs often use less power, crucial for data centers. GPUs, being generalists, can be less efficient for pure AI crunching. Number four, availability. GPUs are everywhere. TPUs, mainly accessed via Google Cloud Platform though Google also offers smaller edge TPUs for specific on-device tasks. Limited physical availability remains the norm for the large TPUs. The core trade-off hinges on context. Your best choice depends entirely on the task, scale, budget, and platform, balancing the wide applicability of GPUs against the focus power of TPUs. So the hardware has key differences, but those specs alone don't explain NVIDIA's market dominance. To understand that, we need to look beyond the silicon and into the software and strategic choices. 
Why is software arguably more important than the chip itself in this battle? Because hardware needs instructions. NVIDIA's masterstroke over the last decade was CUDA. It's not just software, it's a whole programming platform that makes GPUs relatively easy to program for AI. They built a massive ecosystem, libraries, tools, community support. CUDA is NVIDIA's powerful moat, meaning it acts like a strong competitive defense, making it hard for rivals to attack their market share. Google's TPUs, being different architecturally, required a different software approach. While initially focused heavily on Google's internal use, industry observers, including some reported perspectives from former insiders, note that making the TPU software stack as broadly accessible and easy to use externally took time and perhaps wasn't the top initial priority compared to internal optimization. Support within major frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch has grown significantly, yet the sheer maturity, breadth, and familiarity of the CUDA ecosystem often gives GPUs an edge in ease of use and available resources for many developers. The key lesson? Software enablement is crucial. NVIDIA's mature CUDA ecosystem provides a huge advantage in developer adoption and ease of integration, solidifying its market lead despite hardware competition. This software reality shapes and is shaped by the distinct business strategies of NVIDIA and Google. How do NVIDIA and Google play the game differently? NVIDIA's strategy, sell powerful GPUs widely, leveraging the CUDA software lock-in. They aim to be the premium hardware provider across the board. Google's strategy, use TPUs primarily to enhance their own massive services like search, ads, and AI, and attract large cloud customers needing extreme efficiency at scale. It's about strengthening their ecosystem, not just selling chips. Broader market dynamics. Many big tech players actually want more competition, what's called modularization, the ability to swap different hardware easily using standard software to lower costs. NVIDIA's integrated CUDA model resists this. Google's TPU ecosystem is also integrated, but mostly within its own cloud. Who uses TPUs most effectively? Often large AI startups or enterprises with significant engineering resources operating at scale, especially on Google Cloud, who can invest effort to optimize for TPUs to gain cost or performance advantages. For smaller teams or those needing flexibility, the GPU path via CUDA is often simpler. So, distinct strategies. NVIDIA's broad hardware push via CUDA versus Google's strategic ecosystem focusing on TPUs. User choice often depends on scale, resources, and platform commitment. It's a clash of strategies. Which approach do you think will be more dominant in AI's future? Broad platform control or deep ecosystem integration? Tell us your thoughts in the comments. So, who wins the GPU versus TPU war? The real answer? It depends on context. Choosing the best chip hinges on your specific project needs, operational scale, budget, and ecosystem choice. Balancing the broad flexibility and accessibility offered by GPUs against the focused efficiency TPUs can deliver for specific large-scale tasks. And the story keeps evolving. For tasks where sequence matters most, where order is critical, even GPUs and TPUs might not be the absolute perfect fit. This fuels research into other specialized chips, like the LPU concept mentioned in some discussions. Designed specifically for sequential data, Think predicting the next note in a song or the next move in a complex strategy game. Expect a future with a diverse toolkit of AI hardware, not just one winner. Want to unlock the power of AI? Our free newsletter gives you the tips, trends, AI news, and tools you need to succeed. Sign up with a link in the description below. Your journey doesn't stop here. Watch our next video right here and keep building your knowledge.